now, now, come on, Miriam. Come on now. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute, Flossie. Goodness, girl, why you be rocking around so fast? Well, because I got things to do. I got things to do. Well, I know you got things to do, but my corns is hurting. Well, you know what? I just had one of them pedicures over there at the uh, foot uh, foot spa boutique. And with me having, the, you know, with the foot spa boutique, my feet feel so much better. You ever had a pedicure before? I've had many pedicures, you know, but that, that don't mean nothing. I like the original, you know, getting the old hot boiling water off the stove and, you know, going ahead doing it that way. I totally understand what you're saying. I believe the same thing. I was doing that, too, you know, and, you know, you get the bass, you know, you don't get the sandpaper for your corns and your bunions and everything. Exactly. Well, yes, exactly. So that's how I was doing it. And then I put Vaseline on it, right? You do Vaseline all the time. Well, that's what I'm talking about. But girl, after I had my feet done at the foot spa boutique, and they give you champagne, they had me listening to some Prince, and some Prince? You listen to Prince? Of course I listen to Prince, girl. Prince was hot. He was sexy. Well, I know he was hot and sexy, but he was just too much for me. You know, he wearing them high heel shoes and everything. You know, I, I ain't, I ain't in front of no man wearing no high heel shoes. Well, I know you're not for a man wearing high heel shoes, but he was sexy. You know, like, you ever seen him wearing them thong bikinis? I saw him wearing them thong bikinis, but that was not appropriate, Flossy. Well, you know what? It is appropriate. You know, because I'm not dead yet. And when I'm not dead yet, I believe in living. You understand what I'm saying? He can be in high heels, trench coat, and wearing thong bikinis. He was sexy. Girl, you know, there's a whole lot of dogs around here. Maybe we need to get to going. Well, you know, I hope they're over there on that fence over there. You know, there's some little little ruts over there. They acting like they all big and bad and everything. But yeah, because you know, I, I, I'll, I'll hop a fence if I got to get away from a dog. But I don't like getting away from a dog. Well, I, I totally understand. But anyway, I'm really glad that you're here. Anyway, Muriel, because Muriel, you know, you it's time for you to relocate. You know, it's time for you to start off fresh and new. And this is a town that you would love. Well, I heard so much about Bobsville. And so Bobsville, it seems like it's a very nice place. And I'm willing to try it, you know? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, we're going to have so much fun, Muriel. You know, even though we went to school together back in the day and everything, you know, I'm just really glad that we have this chance to have time together, you know, on our last wings of our years, you know? Well, I don't know about your last wings of your years, girl, because I'm still young. Uh, I'm still young. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Flossie, you have always been like that. You always thinking that you're younger than me. Well, I am younger than you. You're not. You're older than me. No, I'm not. I am younger than you, Mirror. No, I am not. The Flossie, I am much younger than you are. Always have been. No, you're not. You lied. You lying. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Well, you know what? You need to get it together and come with your... You need to come on over here and get with your roots, girl. Well, I am with my roots. I know what I like. I like young men, and I like them nice and... and you know what? And anyway, so what's going on with you? Are you rested yet? I'm a little bit rested, but my feet hurt. Well, I totally understand. You need to get one of them foot massages. I'm serious. You get that feet and them corns cracked or something, you know? Yeah, I totally understand that. I understand, I understand. Well, anyway, so, uh, anyway, uh, anyway, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be here too, Flossie. Well, you know, we have a lot of times when we went to school together, you know, and we had a lot of memories at the college, you know? Yes, yes, I know, I know. I, I'm really glad to be here. Well, you know, I just want to say, you know, let, I have some good old soul food cooking on the stove, and it's ready for you, and everything is nice and hot. I'm just glad you're here. Was it a long bus ride? It was a long bus ride. I can't stand it. It was all the people on it. Oh, they were funky. Oh, you know what? I don't understand. There are too many handy wipes and too many things, you know, that be on, yeah, you can take care of yourself for, you know, yeah, feminine hygiene. Exactly, exactly. Girl, this man was sitting next to me, and he smelled like yesterday's uh, sewer. Oh, Lord, that's horrible. Exactly. So what I'm saying is it's just too much soap in the world to be smelling like that. You know, kind of got me kind of nauseous, you know. Well, it's okay. If you don't want to eat, I'll set your plate over for later. Well, no, that's okay. I'm going to eat because I am hungry, you know. All that food at the bus station wasn't fun. They stopped at three stops, and, you know, I'm just tired. You know, I, I, I'm not no young spring chicken no more. Well, I don't know about you. 
I am. I'm a young spring chicken. Well, you know what? You can go ahead and you can be young all you want. But I know one thing. What is that? My feet hurt. Come on, girl. Let's go on. Let's go on and get you over here to the house. Shoot. Girl, you just acting like you like an old lady or something. Yeah, but you acting like you all young. What's wrong with you? I'm going to find out what's in your Geritol. For real. 